So let's say how many paths only moving uh, up or right. Let's say we could kind of make this a general shape, but let's just say it's this shape right here. Now there's like a classic kind of leveled up version of this problem where you don't go above the diagonal or something. Well, that doesn't really make sense here because it's not a square, but if you had a square and you don't go above the diagonal and it's like Catalan numbers, but that's not what this is. So let's see, let's see some allowed paths. So this, that's an allowed path right there. Um, let's see another allowed path, maybe. That's an allowed path. So how many paths are there? So someone tell me how many total moves we have to take. No, any path is going to have the same number of moves. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's going to be eleven moves regardless, right? Because it's like on a you can't do diagonals and stuff, right? So there's 11 moves. So can we do something with that? Choose where to move up. So of those 11 moves, how many do we have to choose to move up? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, is it, do we have the answer now? It's 11, choose five. It's 11 choose 5. Because all, all we have to do, we have to look at all of our 11 moves and choose which of those moves we want them to be up moves. Do we want it to be the first, the sixth, the ninth, and whatever? Obviously, like if we do those, you're going to run out, but you, you get the point, right? Now, you could also choose where to move right, and you would have 11 choose 6, but those numbers are the same. Yeah. They are. Yeah, whenever these. I'm going to like. I'm going to like use some bad terminology here. Whenever the denominators here sum to the numerator, the binomial coefficients are the same.